Hey everybody, Lake Susan Aquariums here today. Today I wanted to talk about the head and tail light tetra. It is probably the most underrated tetra that I've ever seen. Not too many people talk about this fish or keep this fish really, but they're an awesome fish to keep. So let me tell you why. These guys are super easy to keep. I mean, it's a tetra. There's really nothing too crazy about them. It's not a sensitive tetra by any means. This guy gets away in, you know, regular neutral pH. It definitely can handle the lower pHs because the South American fish tend to like that lower pH in the 6.0 range. But these guys get away with the 7.0, no problem. That's what I keep mine in. These guys like that tropical fish temperature, obviously, so you definitely want to keep your temperature range from 76 to 80 usually, and these guys can handle a little bit of fluctuation, and like I said, they're not a sensitive fish, so if you have a little bit of a heat wave or a, you know, a cold spell go through, these guys are going to be okay. Just, uh, you know, always be on the guard for ick and stuff like that, as ick seems to uh, show up when you have a lower temperature drop or something like that. These guys telling male from female, usually the males are a little bit more sharp looking. These guys are uh, definitely bright in color and they're a lot more narrow than the female. The females tend to be a little bit more wide. These guys have a big uh, swim bladder going on in there and it's a little bit more round. And that gives the females, you know, a little bit of a rounder look to them. So definitely if you are looking to spawn these fish, uh, look for those characteristics at your local pet store when you're checking them out. The colors on these guys are really cool. I mean, the head and tail light, the head light being the huge bright eye they have, and then the tail light, they have like a little golden yellow area on the base of their tail. It's super cool. So they do add a good amount of color to the aquarium. Their main body is a nice silver, sometimes a little blue. Depends on the, the light that you're working with, but these guys are definitely a colorful fish if you really take the time to look at all the details on them. These guys can definitely do well in smaller aquariums. They're only going to get around, you know, almost two inches usually. They might get a little over two inches, especially the females because they tend to be a little bit larger, but you're going to be looking at like an inch and a half usually on these guys. Awesome fish, really. I mean, they're really good at schooling. They like to swim around and do their thing. You know how tetras kind of have that, uh, I'm going to call it like a sloppy schooling method. Uh, these guys, like, they'll hang out together, but they kind of spread out and have that wide school action. When it comes to feeding these guys, super basic. I mean, they're definitely uh, popular on the surface when it comes to feeding. So when you drop your flake food in or just food hits the surface right off the bat, these guys are going to run up and splash and eat it, and it's really fun to watch. I definitely definitely recommend in a like if you were to do a uh, smaller aquarium you could do like probably four of them in a 10 gallon aquarium if it was densely planted you might have a nice school of about six of them if it was super densely planted but that's probably all I'd recommend for a 10 gallon aquarium 20 gallon aquarium definitely increases your uh, schooling size but definitely be mindful of the other fish you might be keeping in there just you want to make sure your tank can really handle the bio load on these fish and then a 55 gallon aquarium you could definitely get away with quite a bit of them like I have uh, I think I got 11 of them when I first got these guys and I think I still do have 11 of them it's hard to keep track in a super densely planted aquarium when you have a whole bunch of schooling fish in there but I'm pretty sure I still have all of them they're an awesome fish to watch in there uh, they do really well in planted aquariums so I always recommend plants for your aquarium and I always will if you wanted to uh, spawn these guys I have never done it myself but from what I hear I think the easiest way of spawning them would be as with most South American uh, fish especially the tetras when you do a water change, definitely do like a cooler water transition. So like if you're putting new water in your aquarium, I would definitely recommend it be a little bit cooler, not like freezing or anything. You don't want to put them into shock, but a little bit cooler water would uh, stimulate or like simulate the new rainfall down in the Amazon areas that these guys hang out in. And that usually gets them to spawn during those seasons down there. So if you wanted to try and get them to spawn, I would try that out. And obviously having an abundance of food in the aquarium is good too, but don't overfeed your tank ever. Don't. Don't. I think these guys add a huge aspect to the aquarium, a whole new area when it comes to schooling fish and new behavior and definitely new unique colors. So I definitely recommend checking them out next time you're in your local fish store. Give them a, a second. Just look at them. These guys are amazing. Um, usually people don't pick them up because when you get 
into the uh, pet store and you're looking at them, they're like a statue. They barely even move. They just kind of sit there. Uh, that's what happened with me. I, when I first saw them, I went into my local fish store and they just didn't move. And I was able to get really good photos of them. And when I was looking at the photos, I was like, oh my gosh, this fish is beautiful. So definitely give these guys a chance. Uh, usually when they're in the pet store, they don't look as good as they will be when they're comfortable in your aquarium. I mean, they have people reaching in those tanks all day, fishing them out and bothering them. So they tend to lose a little bit of color. And tetras uh, tend to turn their color off sometimes, like a little light switch when they're stressed out. So when you get them home, they're going to brighten up for you, and they're going to be an awesome fish, and you're going to love them. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.